I'm 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 a little stunned. I'm not. Either they're taken. Manager of the year is Rocco Baldelli, not, not Aaron Boone. Not surprised. Why? I want I want and uh, I'd like to see how the uh, the voting broke down. I want I want somebody to explain to me that didn't vote for him how any manager could do a better job than Aaron Boone did. I want to see that. Wow. Now I, I thought Baldelli did a great job, and it doesn't count what happened in the playoffs. Aaron Boone swept Rocco Baldelli's team. There's not even a contest, but the the amount of injuries that this man kept this team together. I'm shocked. Yeah, I, I, I really am surprised. I thought he shored up manager of the year basically halfway through the season when they continued to play. The I'm, I'm, th now well, I'm convinced. Don, you've heard it for years. There's a New York bias. Oh, they have a $209 million pay. But that's not the team that played. And the guys that played were guys that no one expected to even be on a major league roster. Mike Ford, Mike Talkman, I know. Um, Gio Urshel. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I don't, I, I don't know. But there is that. There is also the the money aspect of it. Big market. You want to say East Coast biased or whatever. But the fact is, is that there's not a lot of people who can even name a Ray. No, no, right? Rocco so, Baldelli with the Twins. No, the, sorry, the, the, the Twins. Or even uh, Twins, I said Rays because... They used to be on the Rays. Right, right. Because there's always that little engine that could attitude. Well, it's the Minnesota Twins. They don't have a lot of stars on their team. But that's just how it always works out, Michael. I would buy... Listen, if he had every single one of his players the whole year and won 103 games, I, I understand that you, you, you don't get the benefit of the doubt. You, you, you're not watching the game and you didn't watch the season to see the job that this guy did. I'm sorry, you didn't. And you can't say anything about analytics. All three guys, Cash, Baldelli, and Boone, all three of those teams are heavily right. analytic. I'm shocked. And how about the analytic. fact that, you know, the Twins were able to accomplish what they accomplished, and it was exposed, obviously, in the postseason by being in a lousy division that had two 100-loss teams in it. So, uh, but I'm not surprised, Michael, because this is usually how it works out. Who overachieved? And I don't know how much the people that are voting or watching every Yankee game to appreciate the guys that are out of the lineup. They look at it and go, they still have Tanaka. They still have Judge. They went out and signed LeMayhew, who was healthy all year. And this was a former batting champion. So he may be overachieved. But, you know, clearly this was the Yankees, you know, going out and signing somebody who had a great okay. year. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm, again, I'm not arguing against you. I'm just saying they all look at it as, but, oh, okay. it's the New York Yankees, but all they, the money. If they look at it that way, right? Then I'm sorry. Then Kevin Cash has to win. Had the lowest payroll in baseball. I agree with you. Then how does Bob Deli win over him? So I agree with nobody. Can you name a Ray? Bias. You can you can name more twins than you can name Rays. Now they they don't have the voting in this this sheet that you gave me, Andrew. Have you seen the voting? Was it close? It's on the other side. No. Oh, they're gonna change the TV. All right, Baldelli got Baldelli and Boone both got 13 first place votes. Uh, he, oh, it came. Baldelli got a third. It was 106 to 96, and so Kevin close. Cash had 33. So it was close. And the thing that got him was he had more second place votes than Boone. Yeah, 13 to nine. And Boone had four thirds, and Baldelli had two. So it was close, but there's going to be that bias.